Now the only other tool that I haven't shown you is move with bio jaw. Now I'm going to turn the lower jaw back on and untrim it. And we're going to click on bio jaw. And it's saying deletion of already calculated restorations. So if you are going to use bio jaw, you always want to use this before you do anything else. And then you're going to say OK. And what this allows me to do is I can now go to position and position this to any place that I want. And it will not take into account the opposing arch. Okay, or the. So if I wanted to tilt these and move it all around, however, I think this would fit into the arch better and not be disturbed. I can do that. And then when I go to the tools, you can see I'm positioning and rotating. I can even scale it if I'd like to. So I'm going to move all these around. And after I get it positioned the way I want it, I'm going to go next. And what will happen is, as you can see, it leaves it in that location. So it doesn't try to put it into harmony with the adjacent teeth or with the opposing arch. I told it to put it in that position, and it basically keeps it in that position. So I'll turn the contacts on. You can see that it's in hyper occlusion because that's where I put it. But if I wanted to do that, and now I'm happier with the position of this tooth, I could go to contacts and hit the occlusal contacts and it would grind it down for me.